Hi, today I'm going to walk you through setting up a 1 hertz onboard clock on your DE1 board so that you can use it to blink lights or do whatever you like. So the first thing we're going to do is start up Cordis. And I'm going to go through these steps pretty quickly because I actually have a, a video tutorial uh, on this site as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and So if you want to see these steps a little slowed down or in more detail, just uh, check out the other video. That's what I need right here. should remember that, but it doesn't. Okay, now Cordis has a few mega functions uh, that you can use, and we're going to use one of those. Uh, Cordis also has some onboard clocks and we're going to take advantage of one of those as well and we're going to come up with a circuit that just basically divides it down to one hertz. So I'm just going to double click here and we're going to go into mega functions and arithmetic and the function we want is the LPM counter which is right here. Now you'll see there's a lot of options on this we're not really going to use any of them uh, except the input and one output. So as soon as you hit OK, you're going to get the Mega Wizard plug-in manager for the LPM counter. And it's basically there to let you design your own counter to and have any inputs or outputs you want. Uh, it's actually pretty flexible. The first thing you're going to need to put in is how many bits you need. Now I'm going to use the 50 megahertz onboard clock which means if I want 1 hertz then we have to divide by 50 million. And to find out how many bits that is you can do the math or you can just take my word for it that it's 26. If you divide uh, log 50 million by log 2, because we're in base 2, you'll get an answer that's 25 point something. So we have to round up to 26 to make sure that we can cover that count in those 26 bits. Uh, up only is fine for what we're doing. Um, if you count it to plain binary, it'll count to whatever 2 to the 26 minus 1 is. Uh, but since I want to divide by 50 million exactly, I'm going to select modulus which is a fancy word for the uh, the number of unique states in that counter and I'm going to make that 50 million and we don't need any enables or carry-ins or carry-outs uh, I don't need any synchronous or asynchronous inputs this is just basically going to be a counter that's rolling all the time so just next next finish uh, I'm not sure what that is so I'm going to hit yes uh, now this is our LPM counter and you'll see that there's quite a few less options than when it first came up because we're not really using any of those fancy things. All we want to do is divide by 50 million. So we're going to need an input and oops, there we go and I'm going to name this one clock Now, there's something very interesting going to happen here. This is actually a bus line, which means all 26 inputs are represented on this line. And you can kind of see that here, where it says Q25.0. That's a very specific notation to let you know that your 26 lines are basically represented by this one thick line. Um, it says 25 to 0 because the first bit is going to be 0. So 26 bits, you have 0 to 25. Now, because we want to divide by 50 million, we only need the most significant bit, which is going to be Q25. So what I'm going to do on here is just label it. So I'm going to use the exact same notation. Q, square bracket, 25, dot, dot, 0, square bracket, no spaces anywhere. And then to use just that one, I'm going to take an output. And then all you need to do is name that output Q square bracket 25 square bracket. Again, no spaces. 
So what that's going to do is just going to pull off one of those 26 outputs, the Q outputs, because there's 26 bits, so there's Q0, Q1, Q2, all the way through to 25. And we just need the most significant bit because we want to divide by 50 million. We use the 50 megahertz onboard clock, which is 50 million, and then our output should be 1 hertz. So I'm just going to compile that. Save it first, of course. So now I'm going to pull up the pin planner, which is right here. Now, for the clock, the pin I want to assign is the onboard 50 megahertz clock. So I'm going to go to a pinout sheet that I have here. And you can see all of the clocks right here. And the 50 megahertz clock is called clock 50. And it's pin L1. So I'm going to go back to my location here and just type L1. I'm just going to double check again here. L1, that's correct. Now my output, if I want to, for example, blink an LED, then I'm just going to go to one of my LEDs. And I can pick uh, the LED, the red ones, 0 to 9, or the green ones, 0 to 7. So I'm just going to pick uh, LED 0, so that's R20. So I'm just going to go here and type R20. So by doing that, the 50 megahertz clock now is going to be sent into my dividing circuit through pin L1. And then my most significant bit, which is Q25, is going to show up at R20, which is one of the red LEDs on my board. Now that I've assigned the pins, I'm going to compile again. And now if I want to see what that's going to do on my board, I program it onto my board. So I go to the little programmer icon here. And I'm just going to widen this so you can see the progress window a little better. I'm going to hit start. And that is successful. So now we should have our onboard 50 megahertz clock being divided by 50 million and we should have a 1 hertz clock at the output and I've sent that to an LED so what we should see on our board now is an LED blinking at 1 hertz. I hope you found that helpful. If you have any comments or questions, you can check out my website at learnelectronicsonline.com.